We're here with Todd from Mainline Dino, all the way from Australia. He's come out here to PRI 2014 in Indianapolis to show off uh, one of his newest products, which is his Pro Hub range of Dino. So, Todd, we just want to talk a little bit about these Dinos. You're already well known uh, worldwide, I guess, for your rolling road Dinos, uh, with uh, what I'd probably consider to be one of the the more advanced software packages available. Uh, where, where did you sort of come up with the impetus to? to do a complete 180 and, and go with a hub dyno design? Well our roller dynos have typically been our bread and butter for, for many years and yeah we're starting to see the limitation from what a roller dyno is good for, sort of getting heading towards 2000 horsepower range and and we needed, sure guys can do that but they end up, it, it costs your tyres so we need to sort of come up with a solution that was, while there's other hub dynos out there which are good products, we wanted to find a solution which could allow guys to go higher than at 2000 horsepower range. Now, what what currently? I mean, I've got a, a hub dyno myself back in New Zealand, and you know we, we do see quite a significant uh, limitation on the torque handling of that dyno. What is it that actually limits the amount of power or torque that a dyno can handle in a, in a hub format? Well, d traditionally, previously, the hydraulics tend to be all limited to somewhere in the 2400 rpm uh, hub rpm range, uh, which typically gets you into sort of 300 to 320 kilometer hour range, uh, and and hydraulics tend to be sort of limited to about 4,500 newton metres. Uh, so we sort of come up with a solution with the eddy current retarder version, which um, immediately we're, we're sort of 50% up. We can go to 3,600 hub RPM with this, this arrangement. And it really just depends what size retarders you want to throw at it as to what sort of torque capacity you've got. But this setup here, we, we're already got, you know, almost 13,000 newton metres of torque here available. And we can just go bigger if, if a customer wants to. I mean, at 4,000 horsepower of, of uh, power handling capability, though, that, that should cover uh, probably most things, you'd think? Yeah, it is, but like, there's a bit with technology, things, someone's going to get to that level one day and need something bigger as well. So we've, we've got that in hand as far as being able to make the system get stronger. Now, we've already talked to Tony from T1 Race, who, who was one of the first people to ever use the Pro Hub 4000 on his GDRs, and you know, he said to us that he's picked up 200 horsepower from uh, his, uh, his tuning work basically at the track with no data to be able to put the car on a dyno and accurately measure exactly what the car was producing. Uh, again, with the, the sort of cars that uh, are going to be wanting to use a 4000 horsepower capable dyno, uh, like uh, Carl Stevens' Pro Extreme car that we've got here, uh, those Pro Mod Twin Turbo EFI cars, uh, sort of traditionally these guys don't ever use a dyno, they, they never really went near a dyno, they tune at the track. How, how much of an advantage do you see uh, they're going to get out of being able to now accurately uh, tune the engine on a dyno? Yeah. Look, I don't think we're ever going to take away the, the complete advantage of going to the track and testing at the track. There's a few other variables that we can't do here as far as traction and, and track conditions, that sort of things. But basically, what at least at a bare nothing, they're able to put the car on, test the entire car on the dyno so they can look at, see how, see what their ignition curve is doing, yep. uh, see what the converter is doing, what the fuel system is doing, the voltage system in, in the car is doing. So they can get an overall test of the vehicle before they go to the track for starters um, in, that, in that range. And they can get some quite valid tuning data before they go to the track. Just at least saves them some tip trips to the tap track. Now, obviously, the, the dyno is a, a reasonable investment. There's a lot of technology in that dyno. It's a big dyno, and, and you've put a lot of work into that. Uh, how how well has that dyno been adopted around the world? And I, I understand it is still very early days for you, but has there been a lot of interest in the dyno? Yeah, look, we bought a, a sort of a prototype essentially here last year, and um, we managed to do some testing on some cars here in the United States last year with that dyno, and testing proved well, so we decided to go forward with it with as a product. So, um, look, we've already got one here at Tony's shop. We've, I put one in the Middle East. Two weeks ago, I've got another sale from this show already to the Middle East. We've already got five in Australia, sort of three already installed, two being installed in, in, in January, and that's really just happened in the last three, four months. So it's, it's certainly a product that's taking off very well for us. So. Now, on top of the Pro Hub 4000, you also do a, a smaller version, the 2000, and it's also available as a four wheel drive option as well? Yeah, we, look, if someone wants to buy a four, uh, a four wheel drive version, we can, we can do it, no question. Um, and, and once again, the 2000 version, it was something we initially didn't think we were going to make because we thought there'd be other, other products in the market that would cover that range, but um, people wanted to buy them, so we weren't going to not say no, we're not going to make it. So we decided to go to the track and make a 2000 horsepower version, and, it, and, and that's already been well received and it's a good little product. So. 
Yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the software. I, start, I said at the start, from what I've seen so far, you, you're, a, you're a software for the dynos. It's, it's probably some of the most advanced chassis dyno software out there and uh, gives a lot of power to the tuner to, to analyse exactly what's going on. And one of those functions that I just wanted to focus on was the uh, MBT tuning setup that you've got in there uh, to help the tuner optimise. Well, you can use it for the ignition timing, but basically any parameter that's going to change the, the torque output of the engine. Could you just explain explain how that works a little bit. Yeah, look, what we try and do is, like, we already interface for, like, 40 or so ECUs on the market. Now, some of them, we have a bi-directional capability where we can actually send data to the ECU and, and receive data from the ECU, but at a bare minimum, basically what it enables the tuner to do is, is hold steady state, and they can basically ramp their timing from a low point to a high point at any, any load range they want, and the dyno will basically um, then shows them the peak torque available at, at the minimum amount of timing required. And then that, that test can also use lambda as an x-axis, so you can basically hold the car steady state, sweep your, your fuel from rich to lean or lean to rich and see the best point. And also I've got some guys doing it with cam timing, where the, where the system sends the cam timing out in the in the cam data stream, but also you can actually muck around with your cam timing live on a, on a load site as well. So that's that's what the MBT function, what we call it sort of basically a torque optimization ability. Uh, as well as that, you've got the ability to uh, input a huge range of uh, auxiliary sensors, etc., into into the dyno. There's just about no limitations. It's it's sort of uh, getting to a point where. Uh, the, the chassis dyno is, is getting very close to what a few years ago we thought was only capable of an, in an engine dyno form? Yeah, look, while, while essentially our controller in the dyno is essentially the same controller as in an engine dyno, um, we have still get some chassis dyno customers who want to do a lot more analysis and, and data acquisition and, and testing product development, so we provide that function for them. So it's pretty much whatever a customer chucks at us as far as the request, and we're pretty much sure we can do it. So we've got customers out there who've got, like, say, six boost sensors on, on their chassis dyno, so they can do some pretty serious testing of turbos and intakes and exhaust systems by just by putting, um, it's just, they, don't have, they don't have to do it the hard way by putting six manual boost gauges on and have people looking at boost gauges on the ground as to what the pressure you saw everywhere. So. Oh, look, Todd, it's, a, it's an amazing product and I, I certainly am interested to see uh, how that's going to advance the sport of drag racing as well as these guys adopt the dynos and start seeing uh, exactly what their engines are doing. Uh, thanks for chatting to us about that. And if someone is interested in uh, one of your dynos, how would they get hold of you? Oh, look, best place just go to our website or our Facebook page and shoot us a, drop us a line and we'll get back to them with, as, as soon as we can. Great, thanks, Todd. No worries. For online tuning courses, visit learntotune.com.